What's up money lovers? Today I'm going to be focusing on some of the key takeaways from Tesla's battery day. Now battery day was a flop in the minds of many people and there's been a lot of negative press today as well as a major sell off of Tesla. But I think people have greatly missed the bigger picture so I'm going to highlight some of the important facts and takeaways. So this information is all directly from the Battery Day presentation. Tesla was able to complete an incredible feat in 2019, growing 50% while all other vehicle delivery growth rates actually decreased. Let's listen to some snippets of what Elon Musk had to say. Also manufacturing, I think manufacturing is uh, underappreciated in general. The difficulty of designing the machine that makes the machine is vastly harder than the machine itself. Designing, like making a Model 3 or Model Y or Cybertruck prototype is, is really quite trivial compared to uh, designing the factory that makes it. Especially if, you're, if it's new technology and you want to use new manufacturing methods, um, it's just at, at least uh, 10 to 100 times harder to do the factory than the prototype. Um, and that's why you see a lot of companies out there or, or startups, they'll, they'll bring out a prototype, but they, they just can't get it over the hump for, um, for manufacturing. Because manufacturing of new technology especially is the hardest thing by far you know like basically the prototype is somewhere at best 10 percent of the difficulty and probably close to one percent so elon has talked about this concept many times about how it's relatively easy to design a prototype it's probably less than 10 percent of the difficulty as opposed to creating a factory that can actually mass manufacture this vehicle which can be anywhere from 10 to 100 times harder many of these companies came and get a prototype working let alone scale production to produce it in droves. And this is why when I hear news about new electric vehicle companies, I don't care. Look at Nikola and how far a prototype that never really existed got them. Creating a feasible electric vehicle is hard enough. Scaling production of it is near impossible. In my video a couple weeks ago, I said I was staying clear of Nikola, and now you can see why. So Tesla has never had a demand problem. It's always had a supply problem. They cannot produce enough vehicles to meet the demand, which is a good problem to have. But, especially now that they're getting into these bigger SUV vehicles, so the Cybertruck and the Semi-Truck, they need to produce a lot more batteries and power than they currently are. And the current methods for producing these batteries is not efficient enough, the technology is not quite there, at least that was the case before Battery Day. Enter Battery Day and a slew of new innovations that will help Tesla get to where it needs to be in regard to sustaining mass vehicle and mass battery production. Their second goal was to make the cars more affordable, which they can accomplish by lowering the amount it costs per kilowatt hour. While the electric vehicle market is still growing, EVs aren't accessible to all because of the relatively high price. I've listed a lot of problems and not a lot of solutions. Well, Tesla's got a plan. Their plan is to have the cost per kilowatt hour. How are they going to do that? So it's all about innovations in the five areas listed in this chart, having to do with the way that they design the cells, the cell factory manufacturing, the materials that the anode and cathodes are sourced from, as well as a new battery pack design. So while they didn't release a crazy new product that people may have been expecting, they did revolutionize the part of the production process that will be pivotal to Tesla's long-term success and enable them to stay ahead of the competition. But don't take it from me, take it from Elon. Yeah. I mean, basically Tesla uh, is, is aiming to be the, the best at manufacturing of any company on earth. Uh, this is the thing that's actually most important in the long run. What tends to happen as companies get bigger, as things tend to slow down, um, well, actually they're going to speed up. This is so fantastic for Tesla. They're years ahead of the competition right now. If they stopped innovating, it would still take years for the competition to catch up. And what are they doing? They have the best product on market. They're not stopping there. They're finding other ways to innovate outside of the product manufacturing the product, making it more efficient. This is great. This is exactly what you want to see in a developed company. They're cutting costs. They're increasing efficiencies. I mean, this is all fantastic stuff for Tesla. Elon made remarks that while the company grew 50% last year, this year they may only be able to grow 30 to 40%. So this, this foresight and the focus on creating more efficiency within the company is fantastic. The one thing that turned people off was that Elon gave a timeline of between 18 months and three years and I guess everyone's just expecting you know miracles overnight all the time now but this is great because it shows that Tesla has a long-term plan they're thinking years into the future they're gonna keep innovating and this is gonna keep them ahead of the competition for the long run so while separate these all may seem like small insignificant gains and they're all behind the scenes but when you combine them all it's just that many more ways that the competition is lagging behind 
put together enough of these small innovations and the competition will never be able to catch up. In addition, Tesla announced two other very exciting products. What does this mean for our future products? Uh, so, uh, we, you know, we're confident that long term we can design and, and manufacture a, a, a compelling $25,000 electric vehicle. Um, but it really is always our goal to try to make an affordable electric car. And um, I think probably, uh, yeah, like I said, about about three years from now, uh, we're confident we can make a very com uh, uh, very compelling twenty five thousand dollar electric vehicle uh, that's also fully autonomous. So these battery day innovations will make a twenty five thousand dollar electric vehicle feasible. This will have profound ramifications on the auto industry. It will make electric cars available to all and affordable for everyone and really be able to compete with ICE cars. I predict that a $25,000 electric car will really be the last nail in the coffin for the gas-powered car industry. And as we can already see, legislation is starting to arise that is directly aligned with this prediction. And last, but certainly not least, the other product Tesla unveiled. Let's take a look. We should probably talk about uh, the you know, Model S Plaid. You know, what about that? <laughs> Just wow. Tesla has so much vertical integration already and they keep making improvements at every step of the way. Software updates to their vehicles, now these major upgrades to the manufacturing process and batteries. If any competition is even able to catch up in any one area, Tesla will still be so far ahead in every other aspect of production in electric vehicles. Elon admitted that eventually all companies are going to have long range electric vehicles and full autonomy and focusing on improving the manufacturing process will keep Tesla ahead. Elon Musk literally sends people to space. A bet against Elon is a foolish one. Think something is impossible? Think again. This is Vinny from The Investment Club, and I'll see you next time.